Have you ever wanted to be Houdini? Now you can. We're going to make a 3D illusion in hopscotch. You may have seen projects like these pearls, or this lobster claw, or even this ice cream cone floating around the community and wondered, how do they make that 3D shading effect work? Well, let's find out. So tap on the plus button and choose your character. I'm choosing Cupcake. So add a new rule, and let's choose when the play button is tapped. Scroll down to the green appearance tab and pull out the set invisibility block. Set it to 100, which will make our character disappear completely. See, you're already Houdini. Then grab a purple leave a trail block and set it to black with a width of 3000. Set the move forward block inside of that block to 1. When you leave a trail of just 1, it draws a circular dot. Since the width of this dot is bigger than the screen, it will make the whole screen turn black. Okay, so now let's make this thing 3D. So first we're going to draw a big orange dot. And then we're going to draw a smaller yellow dot slightly to the right of the first one and then a smaller white one slightly below the second, and then to the left, a dark yellow one. Then we'll repeat this process each time making the size of our next circle even smaller. The result is at the top left side, they're slightly more orange than the other three dots. On the top right, the color is slightly more yellow, and on the bottom right, it's whiter, and so on. That's the trick to giving this the illusion of it being 3D. Now you're really becoming magical. So let's try it. We're going to start with a leave a trail block. So drag that out and we're going to set this color to orange here, but you can make yours whatever you want. We're going to change the width as we go, so we're going to set it to a value. Values are just numbers that you can change later. So tap on the width space and then next to the calculator tap values. And then at the bottom tap plus new value and we're going to name it size. Perfect. Now plug that in to a width and for the length of that leave it trail block drag out move forward and instead grab a red change y by block and change y by means move up. So put it inside of the leave a trail perfect and set it to 1. The value we called size doesn't have a number yet, so we need to assign it one. Scroll down to the yellow values tab and drag a set value block to the top of all of your code. We're going to set it to 600. Let's see what that looks like. So press play. Oh my gosh, it's basically Halloween. That's amazing. So let's keep going and make it actually 3D though. So if you remember, we have to draw a few more circles and each one is going to be smaller than the one you made before. So to make our circle smaller, we're going to drag an increase value block from that yellow values tab. So drag that out and put it under the last leave a trail block. Choose the size value and we're going to set it to negative one. So that actually decreases the value. So if you look, the size of our value to start with was 600, and now we've decreased it by 1, so it's 599. So now we're going to get another leave a trail block from the purple drawing tab and drag it out under that increase value block. We're going to make this circle white, and the width is going to be a value. So tap width, and then next to calculator, tap values and cupcake's size. Now for the length, get rid of the move a trail block again by dragging it from the left side and then slot in a red change x blocks from the movement menu. And we're going to set it to 1. This will make the circle move slightly right. Okay, let's test it. Press play. Whoa! 
I can't really see it, but if you look really carefully, you can tell that the very bottom, especially on the left side of that white circle, is actually orange. We're getting somewhere. So we're going to make our third circle now, and this one again needs to be a little bit smaller. So to make it slightly smaller, go to the yellow section and drag another increase value block to, at the very bottom of your code. Again, drag out the size value, and in order to make the value smaller, let's decrease it by a negative one. So use minus one. Perfect. So take another purple leave a trail block from the drawing section and drag that under increase value. We're gonna set the color to bright yellow. Perfect. And then again, we're gonna tap on width, and then next to calculator, choose values and cupcakes size as a width. And then we're gonna get rid of that pesky move forward block and replace it with a change Y by block. Drag that in and set it to negative one. This will mean our last circle is slightly below the first one. So let's tap play and see what it looks like. Whoa, amazing. Okay, we're getting somewhere. So now on to the last circle. The first step again is to make it a little bit smaller. So grab a yellow increase value block from the values tab and set it set the cupcake size value to negative one. Get one more leave a trail block from the purple drawing tab and we're going to make this last color the dark yellow. It's above green, so don't choose orange. Make sure it's that sort of dirty yellow color. And then we're going to tap on width and again set it to a value, which is next to calculator, to cupcakes size. For length, throw out that move forward block and replace it with a red change x by block. To make the circle to the left of our original plug in negative one, which means move left by one. As always, let's end by shrinking the size of the next circle. So drag out an increase value block from the yellow tab and set it to negative one. Now let's check that out. Press play. Oh my God, that's so cool. There are like five different colors going on. It's white at the top orange at the bottom, and this brighter yellow on the upper right corner. Okay, so this is basically magic, and in order to make it really 3D, we have to repeat it 150 times more. What? All you're going to do is eat, sleep, and dream 3D illusions. That's crazy. Luckily, we're programming, so we can make this happen a lot faster. So tap Edit. And we're gonna use a new block, this one is blue. So go down to control flow and choose a repeat block and drag it all the way to the very top between the first and second leave a trail blocks. Keep going until you're in that exact spot between the two leave a trail blocks and then type in 150, bam. Okay, so we have to drag the leave a trail box below it inside that repeat block. So start with the first one, drag leave a trail, and then we're gonna drag the increase value below it. The next leave a trail goes under that increase value, and then the increase value goes below it, and then we're dragging leave a trail, that increase value, and then our last leave a trail all the way at the bottom, and then below that, the increase value block. So pause here and make sure your code is in the correct order, because if it's not, your circles are gonna be all funky. Okay, so now we're ready to see the magic in action. Press play and hold your breath. Oh my God, it's a miracle. You've made a 3D illusion and it's all happening so fast. It's both pearly and shiny at the same time. Wow, this is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. And if you wanna make it even more amazing, you can search 3D objects in Hopscotch and look at people's ice cream projects or their lobster claws or anything else they're making to understand how to change your code and create something different. Now you've got it. 
your Houdini and happy making everything 3D.